Hello, hello, hello! You are tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's topic Jalen Hurts just got the bag! <laughs> Shout out to my brothers! Oh, Pay him! Oh, <laughs> Pay the money! So, let me read this off to let you guys know that Jalen Hurts is now the highest paid player in the history, the illustrious history of the NFL. Shout out to that brother. And shout out to the women representing him. Girls, you're doing God's work. Oh. And I don't care if a lot of y'all don't like it. Yes, that brother got his bag. And those women put in work. I am proud. So let me read this off to you first. It says, and I quote, The Eagles and Jalen Hurts agreed to terms on a five-year, $255 million contract extension. That makes him the highest paid player in NFL history. Sources tell me and at Rap Sheet. This is on Tom Pelissero's uh, Twitter. At Angel Nicole Lynn negotiated the deal, which includes $179.304 million in guarantees and, and I repeat, and, and I want to say loud, a no trade clause. <laughs> the ball's in your court, Ravens. Let me tell y'all something right now. Let me make sure I get this in because a lot of y'all are going to be, oh, whoa. Lamar should take less and maybe we can get the deal done like right now. What I, you know what I want to believe to that? You know what I think when people say that stuff to me? Oh. I say, shut up. You know why? Because this is why Jalen Hurts took a little bit less. Do you want me to explain to you why? Because for one, A.J. Brown. They got him A.J. Brown and they got him another young receiver. You already know who that dude is. The Heisman winner. They got him him also. So he has two significant weapons and he knows the Heisman winner is going to be up for a contract soon. So what he did, take a little less to keep the team together. Just like what Patrick Mahomes and Dan do. Name me the team that was put together for Lamar Jackson offensively for him to be successful. Please. I'll wait. I, matter of fact, let me play some of this so you can wait. Like, and, and on top of it, on top of it, this is the kicker because this is the part that they've always said they never want to give a running quarterback. And that's the no trade clause. See, this is called negotiations, give and take. He knows that the team has done everything in their power to surround him with adequate talent for him to be successful and to be regarded as not a halfback or a fullback, but a QB. Do you understand? So he's looking at them saying, yo, you did right by me. I can, I can shave a couple, I can shave a couple tens millions off of that. You don't got to give me 200 million guarantee of them. But I want that 179 though. And you better put that no trade clause in. If you're going to shave some off too. And they say, you know what, bro? We're in it for the long haul. We believe in your ascension. And as soon as they were able to, boom, got him the deal, gave it to him. They're, they're, looking, they're looking for this being their future. That's the look of a team that invests in their players. And I want to remind you, this is a team that already won a Super Bowl, right? Got rid of that quarterback. And the, and the backup quarterback that won in the Super Bowl and the coach. And guess what? They rebuilt the same thing in about four years. So I don't want to hear no excuses. Because you know why? They paid that other quarterback. You know what I mean? Carson Wentz. They paid that 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 um that 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 coach, right? And they went out and got another coach, paid him, went out, got another QB. Now they paid him and they got him weapons. Jesus God. And they still got picks. Jesus, God. And guess what? They're going to remain competitive. Jesus, God. I think the Ravens can learn something from another organization represented by a bird. 
This is what I'm trying to get through to the minds of the people that are watching this. It's all capable of being done. People are saying that this hurt Lamar Jackson's um, contract offer. He's already came out and said he doesn't want a fully guaranteed contract. You could shorten the deal so there's more guaranteed money, but this that's what the give and take is. If you're a player, <clears throat> this is the same thing <clears throat> that you've seen Patrick Mahomes do, <clears throat> that you've seen Hurts now do. When the team invests into your safety, remember, it's not just weapons. His O-line is absolutely busting over. So they're protecting him. They're giving him weapons so he can fight back and score. Coaches that will put him in the best opportunity or, or uh, opportunity to be successful. All those things. And then, after everything the organization do, they go out and give you a contract that's at the top of the market. On top of it, to say, look, we want you here long term. And to make sure he's going to be there long term, they gave him a no trade clause. So if they let him go, he could choose his next destination. Uh, you can't wait how this works. That's why I'm so frustrated with the Ravens. That's why I look at this team sometimes. I'm like, bro, y'all don't seem to understand. Y'all been in this business how long? It's like you don't understand the business side of this, uh, 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 of the game. It's like they're so lost in their own purple-hued sauce that they refuse to realize that, hey, there's something outside of this purple mess. There's something outside of it. All these other teams are winning, going to Super Bowls, all these things. And they're doing it by embracing the times. Quarterbacks are what make your team go. And if you can have a quarterback that is on, on um, your payroll for the next five, six years, then you have an opportunity to hold, carry, and to hoist the Lombar, Lombardi Trophy. So this is why I keep saying that I listen, I am so happy for Jalen Hurts. That brother played. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I was one of the people that was just like, bro, y'all is hating on this man. I think it I, I think that if give him another year, he's going to be good. And I made people on Twitter space who were laughing at me. Oh, Nitro, you're just a Lamar lover and you love Ronnie Carter of action. La, 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 la. And I said, watch, he's gonna be in the same quietness that happened. Lamar's MVP season happened last year. Did you see how they tried to equate all of his success to oh, it's because he has weapons! It's because he has an O-line! don't do that to Justin Herbert, do you? You don't say that when, when, you're, when you're talking about uh, Joe Burrow, do you? And everyone's saying, well, Joe Burrow's line was trash. They rebuilt the entire line and paid them heavily to make sure that they were protecting him last year. Am I right or am I wrong? So that's when I said, you don't hear nothing being said. Nothing. Nothing is taken away from the success, the wins, or anything for Joe Burrow, for uh, Justin Herbert, for Lawrence, None of these other QBs. But when it came to Hurts, they were like, oh, because he has weapons. That's why he's nice. <laughs> Name a QB that's not good without weapons. And if y'all, and I, I, I swear, if somebody goes in the comment section and says, Tom Brady, you're lying. Wes Welker is the greatest slot receiver of all time. <laughs> Do you understand? Gronk is a top two tight end of all time. <laughs> he also played... With Edelman and Randy Moss. Like, stop acting like he had nothing. His best seasons came with those guys. It was only at the very beginning when they were defensively oriented. And guess how long ago that was? How many was the leader of those teams? It was defense. That's how they won. Belichick, defense, and the refs. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the Raiders, bro. Because we all know it was a fumble. But no, I'm being serious when I say this. <clears throat> Hurts, Lamar, it, the reason Hurts looked absolutely unstoppable last year is because where do you help, right? 
it puts the defense in constant like like threat like a threat like it puts them in a constant threatening positions because it's like if i if i lean too much this way then then aj brown could burn me if i lean too much this way then the running back could burn me if i lean too much this way the tight end could burn me if i lean out this way then the other wide receiver could uh uh could beat me it's like bro and then if you cover everybody jalen's legs could beat you this is what i'm trying to say those quarterbacks that's why they cause so much stress on a defense because the defense is worried about the weapons and another weapon that it's hard for them to equate to uh, get ready for to to game plan for is the legs of an elusive running quarterback and on top of it he's accurate when he throws the ball it's not just all legs and a little itty bitty arm like a t-rex no he has he has arms. He can put that ball anywhere else that you want on that field. And he got the weapons to do it. So shout outs to him. Shout outs to Philly. Shout outs to Roseman. Shout outs to all those guys. Shout outs to the women that because he has an all women, uh, an all woman um uh what's it called? Agent. Agent system. Like it's all it's an all woman agent system that represents him. And they got him an amazing deal. For an amazing player and an amazing story, right? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the man made a Super Bowl, and he outperformed Patrick Mahomes in that Super Bowl. He really did. If so, if, if someone didn't drop the ball on one of those stuff, we would be talking about him being a Super Bowl champion. If that field wasn't slicked with oil, we would be talking about him being a Super Bowl champion. Because that man was putting up absolute numbers. It had nothing to do with him why they lost. Out and everyone will say, well, he fumbled once. Patrick Mahomes, yeah, come on now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pat before the, the 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 right before there, Patrick Mahomes fumbled. The team got the ball back and, and, and got him back the ball. You know what I'm saying? In the AFC uh uh championship game. So I don't want to hear those excuses. One mistake, you're like, oh, because he wasn't absolutely 100% perfect. He was only perfect 99% of the time, but that 1% is the reason why they lost the game. No, get out of here. No, 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 no. Go look up how many um, how many um, Super Bowls Tom Brady is throwing multiple picks in. Go ahead, look it up. And they've won the game. So I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of it. Shout out to Jalen Hurts. Shout out to his agency. Shout out to Philly. Ravens. Get the job done! My God, how much longer do we have to wait? Oh. And you better not blame Lamar either because you could have did it after year three. So if I better, if you ever come out and say, oh, it's Lamar, it's Lamar, it's Lamar, I don't want to hear none of your excuses. You make me sick, I swear to God. You could have been to this, you could have been to that, but you didn't do it. So I don't want to hear nothing, I swear to God, I don't want to hear nothing. You understand? No excuses. Get the job done. Done. And that's another episode of the Wonderkin Show! <laughs> Thank you all for watching. You can be anywhere else in the world, but you hear me. You know I appreciate that. I really, really, really do. And before we go any further, <clears throat> I want to say uh, thank you to Eric Plummer for donating five big ones to the Wonderkin Show. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for investing into this platform. Um, it's greatly appreciated. We're going to keep growing and keep giving y'all the best content that I could possibly give you. No days off. None. Every day, you will be getting content from this platform. So thank you for investing in it for us moving forward. And if you would like to donate to this platform, also at the bottom of the screen is a QR code. It's for a cash app that handles all the donations. You can find it in the description of every video that we do. Um, and it goes by money sign. The Wonderkin Show. Also in the description of every video, you will find the Patreon for The Wonderkin Show. You can go there and become a patron of this show. What it gives you is access to the um to the Discord for this channel. And it also gives you access to questions from subscribers. We will be doing live content, like going live during the day for the questions that are asked from the patrons of the channel. And there will also be giveaways for the upcoming merch for this channel also. 
and I want to give another shout out to the channel people to let y'all know what's coming forward. We will be on Apple Podcast very, very soon. So that is coming soon to you also. So when you're at work or you're driving in your car and you have your family singing, oh, mommy, mommy, Mickey D's, daddy, Mickey D's, I want french fries, double B's, double cheese, and that stuff in your ear, and you just need a little bit of clarity, you need something to take your mind off of all the, the work, the stress, family a little bit, you'll be able to play me in the car, baby. Hey, 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 I'm coming to a car near you. And so please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you for watching the Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off, and as always, you guys knows my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Yeah!